Hermann Bork, born on December 7, 1893, in Danzig, Langfu, present-day Wazesh, Poland, was a name synonymous with excellence and valor in the annals of military history. This video explores the remarkable life and career of George Otto Hermann Bork, a highly decorated officer of the German army who served with distinction in both World War I and World War II, ultimately achieving the prestigious rank of General der Panzertrupp. Early Career Hermann Bork was born into a family with a rich military tradition. His father, William Bork, was a senior officer in the Imperial German Army, setting the stage for a promising military career for Hermann. In 1913, he began his journey as a cadet in the Hanoverian Rifle Battalion 10 in Goslar. Just as he was completing his military education at the Hanoverian Military College in February 1914, the First World War erupted. During World War I, Bork served as a mountain infantry officer and played a pivotal role in executing the Schlieffen Plan, including leading a critical crossing at Sedan. His dedication and bravery were evident as he served on multiple fronts, including the Western, Eastern, Italian, and Balkan fronts. Bork's leadership abilities shone through as he led an extended patrol that operated independently behind Russian lines for several weeks. Despite being wounded seven times, his tenacity earned him the Iron Cross First Class. Bork's outstanding service even led to his nomination for Prussia's highest honor, the Paul Emerit. In the interwar period, Bork was among the select officers retained in the military, serving in the Reich Sweger. He opted to remain a line officer, turning down opportunities to join the German general staff. World War II As World War II ignited in 1939, Bork was serving as a staff officer in the Inspectorate of Motorized Troops within the Oberkommando des Heers. In October, he assumed command of one of the mechanized regiments of the 1st Panzer Division, a unit that played a critical role in the Battle of France. Bork's regiment spearheaded a daring crossing over the Meuse, establishing a bridgehead on the far side. During the course of the war, Bork's leadership continued to shine. He commanded a Panzer Regiment during the Battle of Greece, leading his unit with distinction. His prowess in armored warfare saw him commanding a panzer brigade within the same division. Bork later assumed staff duties with the motorized troops within the Oberkommando des Heers in the Inspectorate of Armored Forces. In 1942, Bork ventured to the Eastern Front, commanding the 11th Panzer Division in Ukraine and southern Russia. His division's accomplishments included the destruction of an entire Soviet tank corps and much of the Soviet 5th Tank Army during battles along the Cher River. Bork's exceptional performance earned him the Knight's Cross with oak leaves, swords, and diamonds, one of the highest honors bestowed upon military officers during the war. Bork continued to excel, taking command of the elite Grossdeutschland Division and later the 14 Panzer Corps in Italy. His leadership in the Eastern Front continued with the 48 Panzer Corps, where he played a crucial role in repelling the Soviet offensive in western Ukraine in 1944. His military acumen led to his command of the 4th Panzer Army in August 1944. Post-war life After World War II, Hermann Bork faced a tumultuous period. He was held as a prisoner of war until 1947. Notably, he declined to participate in the U.S. Army Historical Division study on the war. In 1948, Bork was arrested and tried for the execution of artillery commander Lieutenant Colonel Johann Schottke. He was found guilty of manslaughter and served 18 months of his sentence. Career Assessment Hermann Bork's military career left an indelible mark on history. According to historian David T. Zabecki, he was considered a gifted commander of armored troops with U.S. General William Depew even dubbing him, perhaps the best division commander in the German army. His exemplary service spanned from Lieutenant Colonel at the outset of World War II to the distinguished rank of General der Panzertrupp. Bork's exceptional achievements earned him the Knight's Cross with oak leaves, swords, and diamonds, placing him among the Wehrmacht's most decorated officers. Conclusion Hermann Bork's life and career are a testament to dedication, valor, and leadership. From his early days as a cadet to his remarkable feats on the battlefield, Bork's legacy as an outstanding military officer endures. His contributions to armored warfare and his numerous accolades underscore his enduring impact on military history. Bork's autobiography, 
Ordnungium Chaos, Erin Erungen, 1893-1948, provides further insight into the life of this remarkable figure who made a lasting mark on the world through his military prowess. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.